Sean Richer, who is here with us today, who's a part of Brothers Against Guns, have been on the ground on a regular basis. So many community advocates, Big Rich and others, working with our community. We were in the community, in the trenches, working hard to deal with this issue, James and Michael, without a lot of help and support. And you know what? Not anyone else that's in this race for district attorney, not one of those folks other than Susie Loftus was right there with her. <laughs> Susie Loftus came to the table at Hayes Valley at the Korean Center where Hayes Valley held their public safety meetings, working with us to try and figure out, well, what can we do as a neighborhood prosecutor? What can I do to help make this community safer? Not, this is what I'm gonna do. What can I do? And working with the previous district attorney helped to create incredible opportunities, including Latifah Simon in the back end track program. accountable who are holding our community hostage. We can do both. We can have fairness in our criminal justice system. We don't have to choose, as Susie Loftus would say, one versus the other. It requires a balancing act. Yes, we need criminal justice reform because let's speak truth. The fact is, disproportionately, African Americans do get higher sentences yes. than others. We know disproportionately, African Americans are arrested in higher numbers than other races. We know what the numbers is, and we are determined to make the kinds of changes so that we have fairness in our criminal justice system. Because when people commit crimes, and we are trying to provide an opportunity for a second chance, and then they continue to do the same thing, accountability has to kick in. We have to do them both. We have to make the investments in the programs that are necessary to help prevent the crimes from happening in the, in the first place. And guess what? Susie loved this understands this more than anyone because of the work that she's done on the ground, because of the work that she's done to help support domestic violent victims, right. the work that she's done to help with elder abuse and other things in the district attorney's office, the compassion that she has continued to demonstrate even when she served on the police commission here in San Francisco, looking at the fact that the decisions that we make have consequences on people's lives. And understanding and validating and making sure that we are recognizing people and how we make things better. And so, when I received the letter yesterday from the district attorney announcing his resignation, I couldn't help but get excited about the future because I know that Susie Loftus is the right person to do this. And in fact, let me also be clear, there is no way that I'm gonna leave this office vacant for the next three months. challenges in this city. Yes. And we need strong leadership to help 
make sure that this office is doing the job that it is committed to do. Serve and protect the residents of the city and county of San Francisco. And that's why I couldn't think of anyone better to step in at this most critical time than Susie Loftus. And so she is my choice to appoint as the next district attorney. walk through Chinatown. Right? <laughs> some folks wanted to say some things and you know I got a text message from my eldest daughter so I'm going to bring you all in on this because when you've got a high school you get a lot of interesting texts. <laughs> and she said mom don't be mad at the protesters. That's right. You know why? Because that's how I raised her. We are San Francisco. We can always be better. every day to earn your trust. I will work every day to build safety that is not predicated on zip code. I will work every day to build a justice system that is not for the privileged few, but that works for all of us. San Francisco is where I'm from. It's where I rode Muni to my public school. And my mother came to this country when she was 19 years old and she raised us up on her own. And she raised me to be a fighter. She raised me to stand up. She didn't raise me to do that, it's okay. She raised me to stand up and fight for my community. And you might know about my background. You might know that I've been a prosecutor. You might know that I've been a police commissioner. You might know some of my friends from Bayview are here that I built a center for kids who've been exposed to violence. But you might not know why. I've devoted my 15 years to building safety for a very important reason. And it's because as a kid growing up in San Francisco, too early violence touched my life. When I was three years old, my mother was violently attacked when she was leaving her place of work to come pick my sister up at daycare. And you know what, she wasn't from this country. She didn't know how to navigate a criminal justice system, and I grew up knowing that not everybody in our community gets justice. Is that right? Yes, sir. right? So what I know for sure is that everybody is entitled to live and work and play somewhere they feel safe, and I know we're not there yet, are we? No. Can we do better for everyone in our city? Yes. yes. And when, yep. And Daddy and my youngest and many of my family members are coming through. Come on up to the front of the stage. how to make an entrance. <laughs> Hi, Gaga. So what my life has told me and what this beautiful woman who's getting up here on the stage today has taught me is that when we know not everybody gets justice and when we know not everybody gets safety, we have to build it together. I will work hard every day with all of you to build a world-class law office that protects our civil rights, that enforces our consumer protections, that fights for our environment, that recognizes that when your car gets broken into and you're broke in San Francisco, it's even worse. Yes. We can deal yes. with that. We can deal with the merchants in Chinatown who are having to close down their doors because of even $100 of theft. We can build safety for this city. I love this city, and with your help, on November 5th, I'll get elected to be your district attorney. It will be the greatest honor of my life.
Hi everyone, my name is Maureen Loftus. And I am so proud that I'm able to be here today uh, supporting my mom, Susie Loftus. We have all heard of her numerous accomplishments, uh, but she will also be the first mom to be DA. mortal. <laughs> Most would balk at the thought of making 30 quesadillas at 8 p.m. for your daughter's class the next morning, but not mom's. Not my mom, because she cares about her family and doing the right thing, not the easy thing. She cares about safety and justice. She loves SF. It's pretty hard not to. I mean, the city's awesome. And she has the experience our city needs. And most importantly, she's ready to get to work. <laughs> this is a new era for San Francisco, and it's going to be awesome. So thanks to all of you for coming out here today. Uh, thank you. <laughs> stepping up to the plate and, and, and your willingness to serve San Francisco um, during this transition. It is going to, I know, make a world of difference, especially for the folks that we know are in the district attorney's office and yeah. need support. Woo! Woo! To work with you to make sure that you have the resources that you need so that we can truly, truly provide justice for all San Franciscans. And that is our ultimate goal. I want to thank each and every one of you for being here today, for your love for San Francisco, your love for Susie. And now it's time for everybody that works for the city to go back to work. <laughs> thank you.